Truth or Dare, The Girl in the Photographs, and Removal are probably a few horror films you've either seen or heard of. But did you know those movies were directed by someone who has a local tie to the area? Joining us today is Kella Lynn Native, writer and director, Nick Simon, and he also brought along Rob Stiff, who will be working with Nick on a new production company in Sioux Falls. How exciting. Thank you both so much for coming in hey, for today. Thanks, thanks for having us. Thank you. So, Nick, you are from Kella Lynn. The mm -hmm. area. So just tell me how you got started in directing movies and where this passion. Uh, I started in high well, I started in, like way before high school, but I was also pretty terrible at all sports. <laughs> and my parents are non, or they, my dad doesn't hunt, so we don't, you know, if you don't, if you're not really sports or hunting, it's sort of like you're a weird sheep in this town. So uh, I just went to movies all the time. Um, so that was like, a, you know, at a very early age, second grade maybe, I think I figured out that I wanted to make movies. And started out with my friends in high school, you know, worked crappy jobs to save up money for cameras and, you know, and made, you know, movies while I was in high school and then eventually started working in commercials and then ended up moving to California. So horror movies is kind of your thing. So why horror movies? Uh, that's just something my mom, I, I go back to my mom on that also because she's a big <laughs> horror movie fan. Uh, and so I think she kind of like at an early, early age, I was watching movies I probably shouldn't have watched. Uh, but it was, it was, it was I just grew, grew up loving those, you know, Halloween and those kind of movies, you know. So what is it like on set directing these movies? Uh, it depends on the day. You know, sometimes yeah. it's great. Sometimes it's you know it's very hard. You have you have different obstacles every day. Um, yeah, I mean I, I love my job. I don't really have a job. I don't work. You know I get to I get paid to go to do the same things I was doing in high school with my friends. You know. And so being on set though, I think it's even different when you're talking about a horror movie because you're watching all of these things unfold. You know what's going on. So the process of putting this together, how much work? Or do you spend days on set? All day long. Uh, yeah, usually I'm one of the first ones there, and you know, uh, also one of the first ones to leave. So there's that. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a lot of hours. I mean, you um, you know, we shot grown-up photographs, and uh, which are hilariously takes place in South Dakota. The movie mm -hmm. does, but we shot it all in uh, Victoria, British Columbia, which is Vancouver Island. Um, you know, we were up there for three months. You know, for the movie. So what was it working like with horror legend Wes Craven? Uh, Wes was my mentor uh, through the Writers Guild. I, uh, I sold a script to 20th Century Fox called The Pyramid, which came out in 2015, I think. No, 13. Um, and uh, uh, he was a, my assigned mentor through the Writers Guild. So we you know, ultimately had dinners at his house every two months. And I got to know him very well. And then at, towards the end of that, that year-long mentorship, he uh, asked everybody, there was five of us who had sold recent horror scripts, he asked us like what, you know, we had, um, you know, what we were working on. So I had this script called *The Grown-Up Photographs*, which I was, you know, at that time had been working on for four years, um, and said, you know, I have this thing. I don't know if it's good. He's like, oh, I'll send it over. I'll read it. And then he read it, and then, and then, you know, immediately responded and said, um, this is great. How can I help you get it made? And then he came on as a producer. And you're back in South Dakota working on Top Secret Films, this local production. So that brings me to you, Rob. How did this <coughs> partnership happen? What's going on with this production company? So Top Secret Films was formed out of, I would say, about a 10-year relationship with Nick Simon and, and myself. Uh, we've worked on a lot of projects together. Uh, Nick brought me on as a second unit uh, DP on his, The Girl in the Photographs. And uh, I, I got a taste of the, of the movie, the movie business and the experience hands-on. So. Uh, Nick's a good friend, and uh, I, I think the thing I, I like about working with Nick is he's a great collaborator, and he, he brings people together, and so it's like, okay, these are the kind of people I want to work with to deliver something to the Sioux Falls and the, and the Midwest area here that hasn't, that hasn't happened before. So it's, this is just the beginning. So bring something to the area that hasn't happened before. So what are the plans? This is just getting started. Are you able to tell me that? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's top secret, I guess. But it's, right. uh, uh, you know, the, the initial, we start out, because I've done a lot of commercials in my career. Mm -hmm. um, and Rob has, you know, a company here already. So it just seemed like, and I, I'm always looking for a reason to come back and see my family and friends. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like kind of a, kind of a no-brainer to come and start this thing here. Um, I think some of the, you know, we're, we're kind of working on everything from commercials to long form. I have some documentary projects I really want to do um, based out of South Dakota. So it would be nice to come and shoot some of those through the company. Um, and then, you know, eventually if we can get, you know, push a, 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 an actual feature to shoot here. And it would have been, been great to shoot Girl in the Photographs in South Dakota. At the time we couldn't, you know. 
So why? What's the appeal for being back in South Dakota and shooting here? Well, for me, it's just because I love to come here. But, you know, uh, except for the days where it's like 27 <laughs> when you wake up. But, it's a um, yeah, no, I think I'd, it's just an, it's a great play area to shoot in. It's, it's very film friendly. Uh, people are very excited about it. People mm -hmm. are willing to help. You know, um, it's just a different, it's, it's, it's kind of one of those, you know, in, in California, it's, it's everything has been mined. You know, and here it's kind of a, a big untapped resource. People are still excited about it, and it still has some sort of magic to it, you know. Yes, and that brings me to my next point. So magic. We, I didn't know this, but before we got on for this interview, Rob was performing some magic tricks for me. So just tell me where magic falls into this. Well, uh, I, I've uh, been in the magic business for over 20 years, uh, developing uh, magic tricks and teaching media uh, for people that want to get into magic, make that first experience something that they can carry forward. Uh, for the rest of their life and so magic is is one of the great things that everybody loves and the next step or the next level of magic really is is movie making uh, where you can invoke emotions and tell stories and and you know reach connect to the human condition it's so all intertwined yeah it's all the same exactly so Rob or Nick I want to ask you about your latest film that people can actually find on Netflix so it's called Truth or Dare so just tell me about this uh, so. it just came out so we shot it last year uh, it's just recently premiered this month on Netflix uh, for Halloween um, last I heard it was trending like top 10 which wow. is great yeah. um, it's, a, it's a it's a horror film it's uh, fun you know I wouldn't say it's 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 I wouldn't say it's for the whole family you know it's got some um, it's a little gory I guess in some parts but <laughs> I don't know, I'm just immune to that. That's, that. That came from Wes Craven, actually. He always told me to shoot more gore than I intended. Because, oh, really? Because the MPA will take it out. And then to my um, history, all the films I've made so far, they've never taken anything out. So I just keep on <laughs> amping it up, and then it, it stays. So it's kind of bizarre. But. Oh, that's and The Girl in the Photographs is on Netflix also. Okay. So both well, films are on Netflix. Well, this is incredible. I could sit here and talk to you guys all day about oh, this. But thank you so much for joining us today. No, thank in. you. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it.